लास्ट लेक्चर में डिस्कस अबाउट द करंट किरचॉक्स करंट का नाउ दे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द किरचॉक्स वोल्टेज लॉ दिस किरचॉक्स वोल्टेज लॉ इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द लूप लॉ बिकॉज इन दिस लॉ वी कंसीडर ए लूप और ए पाथ टू फाइंड आउट दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस द रेजिस्टेंस एंड ईएमएफ ऑफ द सेल नाउ the what is the statement of kirchhoff's law or what kirchhoff's law states kirchhoff's law states that in a closed loop in a closed loop the algebraic sum of potential differences and emf is zero what is mean of closed loop closed loop means what this word is important here in this law closed loop That starting point of a considered loop and end point is same. Suppose we consider a path. We are traversing from point A to B, B to E, E to Y, and Y to A. This starting point A is A, and end point is also A. Therefore, this loop is called the closed loop. And in this loop, the closed loop, this word is important. In a closed loop. The algebraic sum of potential differences. Algebraic sum of potential differences. This is the closed loop. And in this algebraic sum of potential differences means potential difference across this resistance plus potential difference across this resistance and potential difference across this resistance. All the uh, all potential differences. The sum of these all potential differences and sum of all E M M in this set. Here is the set connected. That is of E M F E one. Uh, algebraic sum of potential differences and E M F is zero. Therefore, summation of R R plus summation of E is equal to zero. This is the by the Kirchhoff's law. Means algebraic sum of all potential difference across these resistances and E M F is equal to zero. Now we have to apply this law on this. Given electrical network. In this given electrical network, here are the different resistances R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5 are connected. Two cells are connected of EMF E1 and E2. Before going to apply the Kirchhoff's law, we must know about the sign convention in used in this law. Here, the sign convention. While taking the potential difference across the resistance is that if we traverse from higher potential to lower potential, or if we traverse in the direction of current, here we uh, consider a loop A B E F A, and this is our path through which we are going to take the potential differences and E F F. Now, if we are traveling from A to B, that is, we are traveling in the direction of current. That is, if we travel in the direction of current, then potential difference across this resistance is taken as the negative. That is, if we are traveling in uh, from higher potential to the lower potential. In this side there is a higher potential. In this side there is a lower potential. That is, we are traveling. Lower potential, therefore, potential difference is taken as negative. And if you, we travel in the opposite direction. Let us see this figure. In this figure, our path is in opposite direction of current. This is the direction of current, and this is our direction of our loop. That is, we are traveling in opposite direction of current. Then, potential difference across this resistor is taken as positive. That is, we are traveling from lower potential to higher potential. Therefore, in this loop, we can take the potential difference across this resistance as a positive. That is, we can uh, 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 write here the way to remember. That is, how to remember this. We can write here. In direction of current, direction of current.
current that is suppose this is the resistor and this is the direction of current and our path is this this is our path then sign is taken as negative sign potential difference will be negative while we are travels in the direction of current then this is first then second in opposite direction of current that is suppose this is the resistance here this is the direction of current and this is our path find taking the potential difference across this resistance the sign of potential difference will be positive when we travel in the opposite direction of current the potential difference is taken as positive now the sign convention for the emf in the circuit now suppose the cell of em f e1 is connected in this circuit this is our path now when we are travels from negative terminal to positive terminal inside the cell then emf is taken as positive that what is when we travels from negative terminal to positive terminal that is the from low potential to high potential then emf is taken as positive and in this case we are travels from positive terminal to negative terminal that is this is high potential to lower potential this is our path when we travels from high potential to lower potential or positive terminal to negative terminal through the cell then emf is taken as the negative now we will apply the uh, way to remember here suppose this is cell this is positive terminal this is negative terminal this is the direction of current and this is our path then in this case the sign is positive first case and then second case this is emf for positive terminal and negative terminal this is the direction of current and this is the direction of loop in this case the sign is taken as negative okay now apply the kirchhoff's law applying the kirchhoff's law on the loop a b e f a consider loop a b e y a apply k v l on this loop now we travel from point a to b potential difference across this resistance is taken as minus i1 r potential difference is the product of current and resistance therefore we have to take the sum of all potential difference across this resistance and emf therefore potential difference across the r1 is minus i1 r1 now we are in the direction of current for this resistor r5 the potential difference is taken as this is the current i3 passing through this resistor that is i3 r5 now here we are from e2 f 
then potential difference across this register R3 is taken as negative therefore minus I1 R3. Now we will take the EMF of scale E1. Now we traverse from negative potential to positive potential or negative terminal to positive terminal. Therefore the EMF of say is taken as positive. Therefore this will be plus E1. And by the tilt of slot, the potential difference, algebraic sum of potential difference and EMF is 0. Therefore we can write here 0. Say the equation first. This equation can be written as I1, R1, take this all terms in the right side, therefore negative sign will become positive plus I3, R5 plus I1, R3. Now we will apply the Kirchhoff's law on the second loop that is considered. the current passing through the circuit and resistance connected to the circuit. 